not just the Somali government, but also al-Shabaab themselves, warning on Saturday that they would hit back in response to Gadani's death. And obviously that's what's happened today with these two blasts in Lower Shabele province, which have both been claimed by al-Shabaab. Now, what we're getting from the African Union is that uh, one uh, suicide bomber targeted an African Union convoy, uh, but apparently prematurely blew himself up and hit a civilian minibus instead. That resulted in the death of around a dozen civilians, according to a local government official, although that number hasn't been confirmed by the African Union, and certainly Al-Shabaab have said nothing about that, about the premature explosion or the report of the premature explosion. The African Union, though, are saying that two of their own troops were slightly wounded during that attack. Now, in terms of the other attack, the information that we're getting at the moment uh, from the local official and also from the African Union is that there were no deaths uh, apparently the second one uh, did target a Somali government convoy uh, and that resulted uh, in, in an injury to a security operative but no deaths uh, at the moment.